Welcome to lesson 2.2 on integers. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to add integers with tiles. Now, previously, you were introduced to how to actually represent tiles, as I represent integers with tiles, and we learned that there's two basic, or three things you should know. The first is that a positive tile is represented by an open square. A negative tile is represented by a closed-in shaded uh, square. And when you put a open square and a shaded square together, these create zero. Those are the three things you have to know. So in our first question, positive 2 plus positive 1, this is when we have the signs which are the same. So the first thing you have to do is to create positive 2, and that looks like that. And then you have to create positive 1. Now, to find out what the sum is, remember the sum is when you put things together, you want to know what is the sum of those. So we have positive 2, we have positive 1. When you put them together, you get positive 3. Now you'll notice there's no zeros here. In order to make a zero, you have to have equal numbers of positive and negative tiles. There is only positive here, which means you cannot do any canceling. So when you have positive tiles plus positive tiles, you simply put them together and you count them. Let's go to the next example. This is negative 2 plus negative 3. You can see that I've got negative 2 drawn here, and I've got negative 3 drawn here. The sum of negative 2 and negative 3 is what happens when you put them together. And I've drawn them over here together. All right, you won't be doing that. You'll just keep them on the left-hand side here. But you can see that the answer is negative 5. So, in words, what happens when you have to add tiles or add integers that have the same sign? You draw, sorry, you, let's put it down this way. When you add integers with the same sign, put them together. count them. So I had positive 2 plus positive 1. What I had is positive 2 looks like that. Positive 1 looks like that. The answer is putting them together you get positive 3. The same thing happens when they're negative. Now what happens when you have negative and positive put together? Well whenever you have tiles which are both positive and negative together we can do some canceling and use the zero principle. So negative 2, I've drawn it right here, and I've got positive 3 drawn right there. Now this pair right there forms a zero, doesn't it? That means they cancel and they go away. And this pair right here forms a zero, which means they go away. And what we have left is positive 1. There's your answer. Now. How am I going to mark this? Simple. Did you represent negative 2 correctly with tiles? Did you represent positive 3 correctly with tiles? Did you circle and tell me what goes away? If you did, good. And then you tell me what's left. If you did, you got that. So this question would have been worth four marks. All right. Now, I'm going to go to the next example. Negative 4 plus positive 2. I've already drawn them for you. So the first thing is negative 4 and then positive 2. Now we have to cancel them. So look at equal numbers of positive and 4. Sorry, of, of negative tiles and positive tiles. I've got two negatives and two positives. This goes away, meaning that my final answer is going to be negative 2. So did you draw a negative 4? Did you draw a positive 2? Did you cancel? Did you tell me what's left for easy marks. Okay? So I'm going to load up a different program here, and we're going to work in color. Okay? And on this particular program, I've got negative, which, my, which are represented by red, and I have positive, which are represented by yellow tiles. This is the same as your textbook. So if I want to do tiles, now we'll start with um, addition of ones which have the same sign. So let's start with positive 3 plus positive 2. So your first thing you're going to do is you always write down the equation, or sorry, the expression in this case, so that you I know what you're working with. 
Next, you're going to take and represent positive 3. Now remember, positives are yellow from the textbook, so there is positive 3. Positive 2 looks like this. And now your final answer is to take and tell me what's there. Because they're both positive, there's nothing that can cancel, you end up having positive 5. So how am I going to mark it? Did you represent positive 3? Yes. Did you represent positive 2? Yes. Did you tell me what's there? Yes. Final answer? Okay, so now let's do another one which has negatives. In this case, negative 6 plus negative 4. So I have to represent negative 6. So here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here's my negative 6. And now negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's my negative 4. Now there's no zeros, there's no equal numbers of positive and negatives, so I can't cancel anything. The final answer is just going to be how many negatives do I have here? There are 10 red tiles. Because there are 10 of them, the magnitude or the number is 10. Because they're red, it's negative. So your final answer is negative 10. How would I mark this? Did you do negative 6? Did you do negative 4? Did you write down the answer? Okay, so the next step is to do ones which have both positives and negatives. So I'm going to do going to do negative 6 plus positive 4 in this case. So my first goal is to represent negative 6 just like I did before. Here's negative 6. And negative 4. Those are positive 4, I guess. So here's 1, 2, 3, and 4. And here's positive 4. So now I have positives and negatives. Now I can start making zeros. These two will make a zero. Those two will make a zero. Those two will make a zero. And those two will make a zero. So what happens here is I have these four negatives and four positives, which give me a zero. And of course, my final answer is negative 2. So how am I going to mark it? Did you represent negative 6 correctly? Check. Did you represent positive 4 correctly? Check. Did you cancel correctly? Check. Did you tell me what was left over? Check. Four marks. Okay. I'm going to do a couple more examples, and then you will have an opportunity to practice. Okay? So let's have you try this one. I want you to do negative 3 plus negative 2. Pause the recording. And on a piece of paper, I want you to take and draw the tiles and solve that. See if you can get all the marks. Okay. First thing you need to do is to draw negative two. Oh, sorry, negative three. Here is negative three. And now I have to draw negative two. Notice there's no positives here. Nothing cancels. Final answer, I've got three negative tiles and two negative tiles. I have five negative tiles there. There's your answer. Did you represent negative three correctly? Did you represent negative two correctly? Did you tell me what the sum was? There you go. Okay. I'd like you to try the next one. Let's have you do positive 4 plus positive 3. Pause the recording and complete that question. Okay, here we go. First thing you need to do is positive 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So there's my representation of positive 4. Now I need to represent positive 3. 1, 2, and 3. Here's positive 3. Mm, come on. Positive 3. So there's no red tiles, so nothing can cancel. Final answer, positive 7. You simply put these tiles and these tiles together. There are seven of them. So did you represent positive 4? Did you represent positive 3? Did you tell me what they were? Okay, let's have you try ones now which have positives and negatives. So our first step, we want you to do negative 5 plus positive 1. Pause the recording and do this question for me. Okay, so the first thing you needed to do is negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5. So you should have drawn 5 negative tiles. And you should also have drawn 1 positive tile. Now these form a 0, leaving you with negative 4. How do I mark it? Did you draw negative 5? Did you draw positive 1? Did you cancel? Did you tell me what's left? Four marks. Okay. That brings us to your assignment. Actually, I guess we're at the bottom of it. Okay, so go do the assignment. Hopefully, if you have any questions, you can talk to me.